Tonight, a horrible case of animal cruelty in Cumberland County. Investigators say someone intentionally stabbed and cut a dog with a samurai sword. Welcome everyone to the Death by Cold Steel Report new subscribers shout out. First we got 098 ship member since 2011. We got Mike Wilmot 65 member since 2012. Joe D member since 2008. Never Rushak member since 2007. Mr. King Starscream member since 2011. We thank you all very much at the Death by Cold Steel Report for subscribing. Please pass the videos along and share them. And back to our report. Welcome everyone to the Death by Coast Steel Report. I'm your host, Seattle 206723. We're going to start uh, with the story coming out of KVUE.com, Texas News. Man kills longtime friend in bizarre sword attack. Uh, there's a video and there will be links below for everyone to take a look at that. Um, Police say a 30-year-old man was killed overnight by a longtime friend in a bizarre sword attack after a night of drinking. The deceased is uh, Roy Rosales. Uh, according to a San Antonio police report, Rosales was drinking and listening to music with a, a good friend. The man's girlfriend outside their and his girlfriend outside their apartment in the 300 block of Grove Avenue. Moving along. Uh, let's see here. This one was... Uh, Another sword attack <laughs> victim that talked to uh, the local news at uh, 11 KKTV in uh, Southern Colorado. Um, Kenneth Snipes is still in shock. He can't believe what happened at the Southeast Colorado Springs home on Tuesday. His neighbors attacked him with a samurai sword. Snipes is back from the hospital recovering from serious wounds to his hands after the vicious attack. I've never been so scared about one thing in my life since Sipes. Uh, he nearly lost his head, folks. Uh, he wasn't playing. Uh, he said his neighbor at the West Wind Apartments off Carmel Drive in Colorado Springs knocked on his door early Tuesday morning around 6.30 a.m. Sipes tells us when he opened the door, without warning, he was attacked with a samurai sword. Sipes tells us that I didn't know what to think. All I know is my daughter is standing next to me and there is a man swinging a sword at me, says Sipes. So there was some type of altercation or some disagreement there that just wasn't mentioned in this story. Uh, moving along to the uh, main event here, folks. Authorities' dog stabbed with sword. And this is coming out of uh, Channel News 11. Uh, in Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina, another another North Carolina story. Where previously we talked, uh, I, we did a story about a woman who woke up with a sword in her belly. This time they're, they're they're hacking up the dogs. I mean, things are heating up. People are getting more aggressive. Another neighbor. This time he's attacking the dog. Uh, uh, finally, a, a, another neighbor came forward because the original owner, Mr. Daniels, thought the dog had been hit by a car. But that dog was sliced up pretty good, and there's a video of it. You got to check it, it out. It really hurt me. It hurt me. It hurt me to the bad. Levin McDaniel says he can't believe one of his neighbors is so cruel. Slicing up a dog don't make sense. Where was he getting out of slicing up a dog? Some of the wounds are too horrendous to show. Cumberland County Animal Control Officers say they can't believe it either. He mutilated the animal. This wasn't, he didn't try to kill it, he just tried to physically disform the animal. And he, animal control officers say, is an unidentified neighbor. The attack investigators say happened Sunday night right outside McDaniel's Spring Lake home. McDaniel says his three dogs had jumped the fence and were running free, but two of his dogs jumped back in the yard. His third pet, he says, didn't limp home until Monday. At first, McDaniels thought the dog was hit by a car, but he says another neighbor then stepped up and told him the awful truth. His neighbor saw uh, a gentleman carrying a sword around the neighborhood uh, and seen him going towards the animal.
the dog wasn't actively aggressive towards him. He actually he actively went and tried to attack the animal. A local veterinarian treated the wounded dog. The two-year-old shepherd mix was then sent to an animal rescue group in South Carolina. Animal control officials here say this is certainly one of the worst cases of animal cruelty they've seen. Levin McDaniel says he isn't sure he will ever understand why. I mean, if my dog was bothering him, why didn't he come and tell me? Now, we're told that the veterinarian bill already for this dog is well over $10,000. And the owner, Mr. Uh, McDaniel there you saw, he told me today he couldn't afford that kind of money, so he's reluctantly having to give up possession of the dog. We are told that once the animal recovers uh, at this um, animal shelter down in South Carolina, it will then be put up for adoption. We are told that this neighbor uh, could be facing some serious felony charges uh, including uh, cr uh, felony animal cruelty charges. Uh, we are told, though, that he has denied telling investigators uh, that he's denied that this thing has happened, the attack happened. So we'll have to wait and see how this case develops uh, sometime tomorrow. Follow the latest on our webpage, our Facebook, and, of course, on ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Here in the Fayetteville Eyewitness News Center, Greg Barnes, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Greg.